Hey Trevor, just curious, how does the hamstring feel and you know, how frustrating is it now at this point still to be kind of pacing this thing, you know, pacing it along, trying to, trying to get back to full go? Yeah, it's, it's feeling good. You know, it's been about a week and just trying to work it back to, to full capacity. And yeah, it's a little frustrating just not being able to go full speed, but I'm, I'm feeling good and just trying to not have any more setbacks. So taking it slow, got some good reps today. Uh, so start getting more and more um, each day this week and just kind of work back into it. But yeah, it's, it's, doing, it's doing great, I'm trying to work it back. Here we go, D-Rock and then Mia. Hey Trevor, can you just kind of give us an update in terms of where you feel in, in learning the playbook, learning the system, and, and your comfort level at this point? I feel good. Um, obviously, I still have a lot to learn, and just the more you practice something, the better you get at it. So, still got to get a lot of reps. You know, with me, the receivers, the O line, just all the timing and meshing with all that. We still got some work to do, but from a uh, knowledge and just memorization and mental standpoint I feel really good with the system um, I think it's great we got a lot of answers and now it's just working out all the little details to be a really good offense and, and we're working towards that do you have expectations for yourself in terms of you know performance wise or anything about learning the offense anything at all uh, that you maybe it's set heading into this off season and what you, where you want to be by the time you get to camp or the regular season at all? Yeah, I want to just master the offense. I want to have, you know, complete control and, and know everything and be comfortable. I mean, you can't really play, play free and, and play really well if you don't know what you're doing. So that's the, that's the goal is just to master the offense by the time training camp comes around. So in training camp, we really can focus everything forward on being the best team we can come August 14th and then going on into the regular season as well. So that's the plan. And it starts with the quarterback. Obviously, I have to be ready and I'm going to do everything I can to ensure that that, that is the case. So I'm, I'm excited to get started. And uh, we've, I think we've had a great past three weeks and it's been, it's been really good work. Thank you. Go Mia and then Cassidy. Hey, Trevor, as you're learning the playbook, you're trying to mesh with the rest of the guys. What has been the most challenging part for you that maybe you didn't expect coming into the NFL? Uh, I would say just, I mean, it's, it's been good. Everyone on the team has been great, but just being around a whole new team, new locker room, you don't really know many people at first. So just trying to, something as simple as just like learn everybody's names and um, feeling comfortable around that. And I, I, we have a great team. It's been, it's been awesome, been super easy, but that was something that I really didn't even think about. That was going to be kind of a challenge going in. And um, these guys have been awesome, welcoming me with open arms. But that's something. Then just the schedule is completely different from, from college. It's really like a work day. And then in your, your downtime, you got to figure out ways to get better and what works for you. And I'm still learning that and trying to figure out the best way to make the most out of each day. And um, I feel like we're in a really good spot right now. But it's been, it's been great. Awesome. And I know, uh, at least per social media, you've been getting out seeing Jacksonville uh, during your the, the free time you do have. What has been uh, some of your favorite restaurant coffee spots so far, since I know you're a big coffee guy? Yeah, I haven't been to a ton of coffee places. Uh, Bold Bean is pretty good. I think everybody knows about Bold Bean. Uh, so that, that place is good. And then North Beach Fish Camp is a great restaurant. And we went to River and Post, which was awesome. I haven't been to a ton, but try to go to at least one or two spots every weekend, and it's been great. Awesome. River and Post is a favorite of mine, so good no choice. Doubt. Thanks, Trevor. All right, we'll go Cassidy, and then we'll go Hayes. Hey, Trevor. Um, have you learned everyone's names yet? Pretty much. I think so. Like, we, we, just, we have some new guys here today, so I got to, like, add a few more. But... Um, that's the thing that's different too, is you got guys coming in and like one day you have someone new, so that's new to me too. But yeah, I know pretty much all the guys' names now, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Get them name tags. Um, what has the give and take been like with you and Gardner? Do you sort of do your own thing? Is it collaborative? Like what has that relationship been like? It's been great. Um, I think just, I mean, both of us are obviously trying to be the best player we can be and trying to do whatever we can to help this team. So. Um, from that standpoint, I think we're, we've been great working together, been supportive. And if, he's some, if he sees something, he's communicating it to me and vice versa. So I think we've worked well together. It hasn't been an issue at all. 
and uh, don't expect it to be. Uh, that's something that I pride myself on is just being a good teammate and being able to work with people. A couple of years ago, you know, he was lighting everything up out in Washington. How much did you watch that part of his career or know about him when you came into this? I definitely remember it. Um, I'm trying to think. I guess that was, what, three or four years ago? Yeah, I, I definitely remember watching that. I, I don't remember what year that was exactly, but I remember hearing about him. And then 2018. 2018, yeah. So I guess I was a freshman that year. So I definitely remember watching him. He was fun to watch. So uh, not, I don't remember a ton, but for sure. Thank you. All right, we have time for one more. So Hayes. Hey, Trevor, what's it been like learning from Bevel and, and Schottenheimer and, and how much input are you allowed to give them and, and, and working with them in the classroom? It's been great. Uh, obviously, two great offensive minds that have been able to work together and come up with a great scheme. And I think one of the best things about the offense is it gives the quarterback a lot of answers. So you, you got a lot of tools. You just got to know how to use them. And that's something for me, now that I'm, I pretty much know most of the system, it's figuring out how to put us in the best situation because Coach Bev and Coach Shoddy give us answers. So um, <clears throat> just being able to use them, like I said, and, and that's something that takes a little bit of practice and reps, something I'm not really that used to from college. So uh, I think we're, we're making great progress there. And then they're, they're great about listening to what the quarterback's thoughts are and what we like, what we don't like, and making adjustments from there. Great. Thank you.